Good evening, I'm Alicia Malone and welcome to TCM where we are paying tribute to the late Glynis Johns. She passed away in January this year at the grand age of 100 years old and tonight we're celebrating her life and work with a lineup of her films. So let's start with an epic drama that had Glynis Johns travelling down to my neck of the woods, Australia. From 1960, directed by Fred Zinnemann, it's The Sundowners. Fred Zinnemann had become interested in filming a movie in Australia after getting to know Oscar Hammerstein's wife while making Oklahoma in the mid-1950s. She was from Tasmania and spoke about the rugged beauty of the land down under, so Zinnemann asked her to be on the lookout for Australian material that could work. Three years later, she sent him a copy of a novel by John Cleary called Back of Beyond, and Zinnemann knew this was just what he was looking for. Warner Brothers approved the film adaptation, thinking he'd film it in the US, somewhere like Arizona, but Zinnemann was determined to actually go to Australia to shoot on location and somehow managed to convince Jack Warner to say yes, though he had to concede to filming the interior scenes in London. Set in the 1920s, Deborah Carr and Robert Mitchum star as a married couple who, along with their son, played by Michael Anderson Jr., are sundowners, sheep rovers who make a home wherever the sun goes down. Peter Ustinov also stars as a British gentleman who joins the family adventure, and Glynis Johns is a hotel and bar owner who catches his eye. Glynis Johns was born to an Australian mother and grew up in London, so mastering the Australian accent wasn't as big of a leap as it was for her American co-star Robert Mitchum. And Johns was well into her long film career at this point. She'd started out acting on the stage as a teenager and then made her film debut in 1938, but it was this role that would bring Glynis Johns her first Academy Award nomination as Best Supporting Actress. Righto. From 1960, let's head down to Australia with The Sundowners. The Sundowners did fairly well at the box office, though director Fred Zinnemann thought it would have done better if the publicity campaign hadn't tried to amp up the passionate relationship between Paddy and Ida. Instead, as Deborah Carr said, this film was quieter than that. A no-story movie, an observation of life with a marvellous cast. And the Sundowners did earn five Academy Award nominations, including Best Supporting Actress for Glynis Johns. This was to be the only Academy Award nomination Johns received during her long and impressive career, but she also won a Tony Award for the stage production of A Little Night Music in 1973 and won All of Our Hearts in her most famous role as Mrs Banks in Mary Poppins from 1964. Tonight's lineup on TCM is dedicated to the life of the late Glynis Johns, so join me back here after the break as we watch a moving drama from 1957 starring Johns with Cameron Mitchell and Paddy McCormick. Next on TCM, All Mine to Give, then The Card, and later, Vacation from Marriage. We're committed to Glynis Johns tonight. <laughs> 